our blocks one through four, which is up to like professional level rendering, is only 350 hours of time. That's not a lot of hours. I mean, when you break that down, it's seven hours a week for under a year. That's not a lot of time to go from knowing nothing to being able to produce professional level paintings. So you had mentioned that the ateliers are also teaching these fundamentals for the most part, but they're going about it more tediously. So what makes Evolve so fast, right? Because, you know, Evolve's claim is that they can get people to pro level art skills in about a year's time if you're putting in about seven hours a week, um, which is what, like five times faster than, than what most people would even perceive would be pro level skills. So, so what does Evolve do that's so much faster than everyone else? We, we've really kind of boiled the program down to only what is necessary to produce professional level work, nothing else. You know, I always try to make comparisons to things. So if, if I were gonna teach somebody how to defend themselves, and I have a bit of a background in this, I wouldn't, I wouldn't teach them every single skill to become like a black belt in jujitsu, I would teach them three or four things that could be used in almost any circumstance that would immediately end a fight, right? Because that's defending yourself. It's not beautiful technique that you do on a mat in front of a crowd of people watching. Now, and don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, studying these things and spending your life working on them. But again, it's like, you know, if somebody knows how to throw, how to throw you in boxing, you have four punches. You know how to throw those four punches and you're not afraid to get close to a person, you do a world of damage. You don't need to have, you don't need to have all the footwork that you would need to fight in a ring for, you know, for 10 rounds. You need to be able to land a blow, hit hard, right? So how do you generate power? What do those punches look like? So you can streamline the education to get people to the point where they're producing professional level work very quickly. I do it all the time with people, a year. I do it all the time. People who barely know which end of a brush to use, and a year later they're producing stuff that they cannot believe is coming off the edge of the, 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 the edge of their brush. But that doesn't mean that they don't have they don't have the world of experience yet. But the thing is, you can get the experience after you get the skills. Every time you remove a piece of information that has to be learned and and practiced, you shorten the path to the goal. And look. I haven't extracted the things that are necessary. I've only taken away the stuff that I felt was superfluous, the things that really don't move the needle. Now, again, it's not that it's not that some of these things won't help you, but you will figure them out on your own as you go. A lot of them don't need to be taught. They, they present themselves along the way, but they'll slow you down in the learning process. Something you might teach at the, the very beginning that is really unnecessary to the goal at the time by the time you get into the third block, it makes total sense to you, but you were never taught because it just makes sense. There's a blank somewhere along the way and you just realize the answer's there. It's been there all along, but it wasn't necessary for you to be taught. It's just common sense. And common sense is, you know, you develop a sense of common sense by immersing yourself in this, in this endeavor. Right? There's not an expectation that you know, you'll get to block four and all of a sudden you'll know everything about art. The stuff you'll figure out along the way will be figured out based on the things you've been taught. Not that you, you don't have to be brilliant, you just have to be immersed in the work. The answers will come, they will present themselves. And that's the nature of most things. Look, if I teach you how to ski, I explain skiing to you, but you don't, get a, you don't become good at skiing by sitting in classrooms taking more classes. You get good by going out and doing it. And the more you do it, the more you figure out on your own. The instructor can't teach you everything because they, there are too many scenarios. They teach you the very basic stuff, the bare minimum to get you on your feet, down a hill, and how to get up if you fall, and how to turn, how to stop. That's all they teach. Everything else is experience. And you can become an incredible skier with just those lessons and then hours and hours and days and weeks and months and years of experience. Art is no different. And it's no, nothing, everything's the same. It doesn't matter what it is. Fishing, skiing, painting, writing, it's all the same.
learn the basics, keep them simple so that you can organize them in your own head. You don't get overwhelmed with information. If you get overwhelmed with information, how do you apply it? You know, you got to keep it simple. And then it just comes down to spend the time doing it and you'll get good. I would argue you could be given the skills with a little bit of experience along the way to develop each one. And then, and that gets you down the road really far rather than giving you a hundred exercises to develop one skill. I can give you three and say, okay, you understand how this works. Let's move you to the next thing. That skill is going to be applied in every exercise that follows. I don't need to beat a dead horse with this. Right. And so in an atelier, you can work on a bar drawing for months. I mean, insane one drawing weeks, months. I mean, it's insane. You know, in, like I said, I mean, I think most ateliers, in fact, I think all ateliers, you don't even look at a paintbrush for a year. A year. Now, and I, I want to make, uh, this is a very important thing. If you're going to an atelier, you are the best of the best skimmed off the top. Your best one-tenth of a percent. These ateliers are taking, what, 20 people. They are taking the absolute best of the best and then spending three years teaching them. One year in charcoal and then two years in paint is basically how it breaks down. I take everybody, anybody. I have people with like rheumatoid arthritis. They can barely hold a brush. I take anybody and get the same results. Yeah, I mean, you've been in the school, so you know. Anybody that comes in, right? It doesn't matter who they are. If they're driven, I can teach them. And in the same time, I actually would argue a hell of a lot less time than an atelier takes to get you to painting you'll already be producing professional level work the way I do it because we move you. First of all, we streamline the process to be only what is needed. Nothing more. After you've got all those skills and you can make paintings confidently and efficiently, you can spend the rest of your life developing the experience to get better, to become more nuanced. But if you have the choice of spending three years to get to a point in your skills, or spending one year to get to that same point in your skills. In the, the one year, you hit that marker and then you have two more years of experience with those skills to catch up to the other person. Yet you've had the same skill set for two years, right? One year in one program that gets you to professional level skills, another program that takes three years to get you there. The person doing the one year program has the skills and then spends two years developing further experience with a skill set they already have where the person in the three-year program doesn't get the full skill set until three years. And that's all I'm doing. I'm just kind of mixing it up the way that we do it. We, we've really kind of boiled the program down to only what is necessary to produce professional level work, nothing else. Now we have advanced blocks with that go into much more, much greater depth and broaden horizons and do a lot of things. But if you want to produce professional level work, I can get you there in a year if you're willing to do the work. And the work is not a hundred hours a week. It's not a full-time job. It's, it's like seven hours a week. And we've even seen some of our students do more than seven hours a week. I think our record yes. is what, three, three months um, for a student. It's something like program. that. Something yeah. like, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So 